before uh, we move on to what activities uh, my son is going to work on for this week, I just wanted to give you a quick life update. So uh, this is uh, the last time uh, you will see this house in our videos because we are uh, soon shifting to another apartment and uh, we are excited for it. And I think life is all about uh, moving ahead and embracing changes. So. Uh, we are all set up, but the thing is, I am a bit overwhelmed because uh, this house and this space is always going to be close to my heart because this is where our Montessori-inspired journey began. I set up uh, the shelf uh, for my son in this house, so uh, this little space is always going to be special to me. Okay, so yeah, that's what I just wanted to share with you guys, and in the next video, you would probably see our new house so um, we will see how that goes okay back to our shelf activity so let me super quickly show you what we're going to work on for this week so the first one here we're going to practice our um, phonics so what I've done is I've just cut out a few of these animal pictures from a book and this is what you can do in case you don't have a computer or do you, you don't want to use printables is um, just take books and cut out pictures that you need and it is so easy so cheap and saves a lot of time okay so um, we have these animal cards and we are going to focus on the word and what each word begins with so monkey begins with mm, mm. okay similarly we have a bunch of them so dog begins with d, d. and we have their uh, corresponding starting or beginning uh, letters here and all that I've done is, so the first thing we'll do is, uh, I have just hand drawn them here. So first we will go through their lowercase and uppercase of all the starting letters. So, mm, mm. so you go ahead, match it. So we go through the lowercase, uppercase, l, l. And I generally give him one letter or two letters max on his rug at a time, okay? So uh, it is important not to overwhelm the child it is important to always keep things super simple for them okay now once we practice our sounds and match you know the lowercase alphabets here we'll extend our activity and then we'll go ahead and match them here so what is this monkey it starts with mm, mm. so can you match the M here so that's the lowercase that's the uppercase so this is such a fun way to practice our phonics Okay. And I know a lot of you have requested for a phonics video and it is surely on my to-do list. Uh, I had attended a teacher's training program last month and uh, once things settle in, I will surely uh, make a phonics video series for you guys. Okay, so that's on my to-do. Um, so that's for our phonics. Then here we have a little match-up activity and this is just with stickers. So that's another tip. If you don't have uh, printables, you can use stickers to make uh, these picture cards, okay? So it's to just match. So corn will go here, cabbage will go here, so on and so forth. Okay, then we have a little transferring activity and um, it's to just uh, transfer pom-poms from here onto... Uh, this little sheet and this we got from a cookie box so you can um, use things from around the house to create your activities okay so a fun transferring uh, activity you can use tongs or spoons to make it more interesting uh, then here we have a sound and no sound activity okay so he will shake these barrels and eggs and see if they make a sound okay so this one doesn't have a sound what about this yeah it makes a sound so a fun way to practice sounds okay um then here we have a little um and he actually did it yesterday and he totally loved it so this is our uh, color sorting activity and what i've done here is um i have these um different crayons of different colors and then he has to color sort with these foam and felt objects okay so all the green ones will go here the red ones will go here and this is great because um, the activity becomes a bit challenging because there are different shaped objects and the colors are similar but not same to same okay so you'll see there are different shades of green different shades of red okay so this is such a fun way to sort colors 
Then here we have a counting activity and I've just used pasta okay, uh, as a math manipulative and I've just created this, uh, you know, these counting cards and all that he has to do is match. Okay, so one, so one pasta goes in here. Likewise for number two, right till number four, okay. Then we have our prayer time and then we have this little magnetic and non-magnetic activity okay so just a little um, science-based activity so okay so that's not a magnet what about this oh it's a magnet and magnet attracts magnets so um so many things you can teach your child with such simple activities okay so that's that and here we have a little a bird matchup game and I got the printable from uh, Montessori print shop so I will link that up for you guys so um, that's for bird matching and then we'll go ahead and um, talk about these uh, bird flashcards so what is this it's a rooster what about this it's a peacock okay and then we can also practice our phonics here so p -p peacock okay so there are so many ways you can extend you know your activities so that's that thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time in our new house bye thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe